Hi everybody, it's Busy Bee Retiree in her kitchen again. Today, um, I would like to dedicate this video to my nieces and nephews and great nieces and nephews to show them how their Aunt Dooney makes deviled eggs. And then also to share with you how you could just keep on going and make egg salad. So let's get into it. I've already pre-done several things. So I wanted to show you how I do the eggs. I put the eggs in a pan, put cold water on it, turn the heat on, boil it, get it to a boiling point. Then I turn the heat off, put the lid on and let it sit for 15 minutes. They're done, they're perfect. Then I bring them over, drain that hot water off and I make sure there's lots of cold water and I let them set in that cold water. You can do an ice cold bath if you like. The point is to get the egg cold cool all the way through. But as soon as I take the hot water off, I kind of crack the egg all over and let it sit in that cold water. So that little bit of steam helps get underneath that little thin skin membrane, if you will. So I always like to start at the top because there seems to be a pocket right there at the top that kind of helps you pinch that thin skin. And then I just simply take, and I hope this one peels, but it is, uh, I peel all the way down to the point side. Then I go alongside of it. And if you notice, I'm taking my side of my thumb, the side of your thumb, not a nail, the side of your thumb, and go in there and just kind of peel that right off. See how easy that comes off? There you go. Perfect. So I start here on the big fat side and go down to the point, go from here all the way down and then it'll just peel off. Then I rinse them off, blot them with a paper towel. So that is one thing. The other thing I wanted to share with you is how I slice them open. Now some people might take and put this on there. I've seen it on TikTok where they just spin this knife around it and that's fine and you get the whole big yellow uh, cooked yolk. But what I like to do is I just, and I'd have three of them out, but I just take a serrated knife, like a steak knife, and I just hold the sides and put a little pressure on that. So then I'm gonna take the knife down through and up here at the top where it comes out right here, I'm gonna really grip right there. And that's gonna help keep the yolk from, and I put my fingers together like this. Do you see that? The fingers are closed against the knife. So that's gonna clean any of the yolk off and look how clean my knife comes out. So I'm gonna go back down through the, the next one, pinch up here, put your fingers on the knife blade as it slides forward, nice and clean. That way you're keeping the egg clean. Go down through, pinch up on the blade and slide it through. Done, see? You kept it clean. Then I take and I just kind of take my thumbs and expose that yolk and drop it, put a little pressure to the backside and drop it in. And half of them usually fall out by themselves. So it's not difficult, but for somebody that hasn't done it or who's just learning how to do it, those are some little, little tips for you. So there's that. Okay, so now the yolks are all in here, so I'm gonna take the back of a fork and I'm just gonna smash them all up. Okay, now I've already pre-measured. That was eight eggs too, by the way. So, and again, it depends on how many eggs you've boiled that you're gonna use versus how much mayonnaise and the other ingredients, okay? But the important thing is, is to know the ingredients. And then it's up to you to determine how much of those ingredients. But just for the sake of this, I did eight eggs. I did, this is a half a cup of mayonnaise. And if you haven't seen my video on how to, to make your own mayonnaise, then check it out on my YouTube channel, Busy Bee Retiree. Okay, so there's a half a cup of mayonnaise. And again, that's not carved in stone. It's how much uh, yolk you have. And uh, that is about two heaping teaspoons of relish and about one teaspoon of Dijon, uh, Dijon mustard. So in that goes, 
And then if you like onions, which we do, uh, this is about a fourth of a cup of onions. And again, it depends on your likes. But the important thing is, it's the egg yolk, it's the mayonnaise, the sweet pickle relish, Dijon mustard, and onions. And of course, salt and pepper. Okay. And again, you do as much as you want to do. It's best to start out slow and not get carried away. So let's mix this up and see. Now, I'm gonna do a step aside here because if you, that right there is your egg salad or deviled eggs. That's, this right here is your deviled eggs, okay? So you're just gonna take a spoon and you're just gonna take a little spoon and just take it and scoop it in and put it right back in the white of your egg. That's it. Okay, that's it. Now, if I wanted to not have deviled eggs, but have egg salad to put on, make a sandwich, I would simply use a, a hand grater and then you would grate the whole boiled egg. You don't cut it open. You do the whites and the yolks and you just simply grate it on a flat grater. You can use a box grater or you could use a hand grater, whichever you like, but just be careful because those things are sharp, so they can get you. <laughs> so anyway, that is deviled eggs and that is egg salad. There you go, two things, right? It doesn't get any easier than that. And then you can sprinkle it with a little bit of paprika if you like. So I hope my nieces and nephews watch this and that's how your Aunt Dooney makes deviled eggs and egg salad, okay? Another tip I'm gonna give you, since I've got my chef jacket on, I'm not a chef, I just love to cook, okay? But stop and think about it. If you're having a, a, um, people over for dinner and entertaining, and you can get dressed, you can get put your, your entertainment clothes on, put this jacket over top of it, of the of your clothes and then once you're done cooking you just take the jacket off and boom you're all set ready to go that's why i wear the jacket so i hope everybody enjoyed that i hope you uh, learned something uh, something new but um, make sure you follow along like give me comments because i will try to respond to them so anyway thanks for visiting in my kitchen you can stop by anytime bye